PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. Man, she's cold here today in Pete's Garage, but anyway, I'll suffer through for you guys, you know how it is. <laughs> hey, anyway guys, today I'm talking about this. You got your pile of dark plasma torch, you know, with the uh, extra green wire here, that little varmint there, and uh, how do we run this on a normal plasma cutter machine? Well, I know how I do it, so I'll show you how I do it, and you can uh, decide for yourself. Anyway guys, same crap as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, oh, remember to check out my new website, peachtools.com. Anyway guys, let's get into this. So guys, I'm just using an 80 amp plasma torch here, 80 to 100 amp this one is actually, but I, I use this from time to time on my little 40 amp machine. Seems to work alright, especially if you're cutting thin plate, it's pretty cool. So, uh, but this is a pilot arc torch. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, how can we run a pilot arc torch on our normal non-pilot arc machine? Well, I don't really know if you can or you can't, but I do, and this is how I do it. So uh, you can check it out and uh, see if you want to do the same. Like I say, it's up to you, but this is just how I do it. And mainly I do it this way, if I've got to cut some paint or something, I'll show you later in the video, if I've got to cut through some paint or something, I just use this because it's a lot easier and you don't have to clean off whatever, you, whatever you're starting to cut. A lot of you guys that are new to this, you're wondering, what is this extra lead on this torch? So you look like this is normal, this is, this is where you plug your ear into your machine and this is where you plug your little, um, your little switch goes in there, you know, for your off on switch on your, on your trigger here. But you've got this little wire here and uh, what's this one Pete? Well I'll show you. Actually I'll show you where it's connected to on the torch and I'll show you what it does. I'll just grab my multimeter here guys and uh, I'll just go there so we can know when we're getting a direct through current if you understand what I'm saying. Like if I uh, touch these two wires together like this, you see what the meter's doing there? We're reading 001, uh, 000, see 000 now, we're right through. And so that just means we've got a complete circuit. So if we grab one of this wire here, the little green bum, like I showed you, and we put one of the leads on here, and if I touch the other lead on here, on the uh, tip of the cutting nozzle, see how we're getting a complete circuit through there now? See that? It's uh, like a dead short. So what that's telling us guys is that this green wire here is connected to the actual cutter itself, to the cutter head, not to the electrode. Here, I'll pull the torch to bits and I'll show you. So if I quickly pull this torch to bits guys, I'll show you where that wire goes. It doesn't go to the electrode, it goes to the tip, the cutting tip. Take this off air like so. <laughs> there we've got my torch pulled to bits, guys. I've got my switch here, the on-off switch. That this one little here, little thing here hooks to, as you can see, just the on-off switch. See this green wire here like we were talking about before? This is where it connects into here. It connects into the torch head here. And the connection here is connected to the actual cutter tip, not the electro. I'll show you. Cutter tip. Electrode. So if we grab my little doodad again and we measure this, we'll see what happens. So if we get in the multimeter and we put one on the green wire here and one on the electrode, see what happens to the meter? Absolutely nothing. Because it is connected to the tip. The tip makes the contact, if you understand what I'm saying, just to prove that it still works. See if I go like that, see we've got a direct short there. So put it on the electrode, nothing. So what it's telling me is that it's attached the circuit is connected to the tip and the tip screws into here so if i touch that that'll go straight through like so see so what i mean put, so i'll put the torch back together guys and uh this little green wire you're saying well it was a bit of useless information pete well on a plasma cutter that's pilot arc you've got a place on the front of the plasma cutter where you can screw this wire onto but if you haven't got a pilot arc plasma cutter you haven't anyway i'll show you my plasma cutter and then i'll show you another plasma cutter that has it and then uh, you'll be able to see the difference so here's my machine here guys, as you can see it doesn't have the extra thing here to put the wire onto. As you can see this one guys, is where you put the uh, wire there where the circle is. So how I get around it guys, you know how you got your earth lead that you clamp onto whatever you want to cut right, and then the other end of it plugs into your plasma cutter machine and it's got a DINS plug on it like that. See these plugs here, they're called DINS plugs. Hey I've got some uh, videos about DINS plugs up the top if you want to check them out. 
it's an easy way to extend your uh, welding leads and that sort of thing. So check that out too if you get a chance. But anyway, Pete, I uh, digress. I modified the end of this plug so I've got somewhere to put that green wire that we were talking about before that gives us a pilot arc. Anyway, I'll show you how I do it, guys. So all these dins plugs are the same, right? And they'll plug into your machine and it's all much the same. It's just different sizes. You get big ones or small ones or whatever. This is just a little uh, 1525, I think it is. That's the size of it. So what I do is I just modify this plug, guys. So what you need to do is grab some pliers or something and pull the shielding back on the thing. You're going to have to twist and turn it a bit to get the bloody thing out because they're in there quite solid, like that. See that? And all that is there is it's got a little grub screw there and this is the fitting that goes into your machine and that's on your, on your earth wire. So uh, what I do is just modify this, guys. And to modify that, I just go into my box of bits and pieces and nuts that I've saved up over the years and try and get something that'll fit in here to, so we can modify it. Anyway, stop waffling, Pete, and just get on with it, eh? Then what you need to do, guys, is go into your box of bits and pieces. I've got a box like this with all sorts of different sort of crap in it. And try and find a, a length of rod, about that long, or threaded length of rod, that will screw in here. That's what we're looking for. It's got to have the same thread, of course, but it's got to be, you know, about an inch, inch and a half long, you know, about yeah long. So we'll see what we've got. See, something like that would be ideal. But uh, chances are, no, Murphy won't fit in there. It won't screw in there properly. See, it just binds up. But that's not going to do me much bloody good. Now, what about this one? See, something like that, but no, that's no good either, because it's got to have a thread on top of it as well. That's a funny looking thing here, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's got a thread on both ends, wonder if it'll work. Yeah, We got one! I um, mean, that's pretty tight in there too, actually. But hopefully it'll work. I wonder if I can uh, just check that, guys. Yeah, that'll go in there, I think. Yep. See that, guys? It goes all the way in there. Cool. So we'll use him. And then what we've got to do is we've got to get a nut and some washers to go in that'll fit on this end. So I'll grab another box of tricks and we'll see what we've got in here, eh? Not too big. Try this one. Oh, look at that, guys. We finally found one. Yeehaw! Get a couple of washers as well. Like right, so, cool. So, what we've got now is this ugly looking thing that will screw into the head of our plug. And uh, we've got a nut and a couple of washers on the end of it. So what we need to do, guys, before we do anything else, is take this cover up like so and pull it up there so we can cut a little chunk out of it. I actually have two of these earth leads. I have one for when I'm using the normal plasma cutter and one when I want to cut paint and I want just a, a temporary pilot art version of the thing. Anyway, so grab your, your cover like that, the grommet or whatever you want to call it. Get a pair of snippers and you want to snip about half an inch into there just snip it like so just down past where you see the ridge you'll see the ridge here on the molding I just normally just go a little bit past that just snip them off like so what we've got here guys as you see that we've got a, a hole in here and then uh, we should be able to get our contraption to work. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. So, eh? What I normally do here is just bend over the end of the, the lead just so we've got a bit more of a tighter, snugger fit inside the plug. And then grab your, um, grab your little plug like we had originally, the one that we pulled the grub screw out of. Put the wire in there. You might have to, depending how thick your wire is, you might have to twist it around a bit to get them in there. Because this is quite a heavy lead, this one. So what you want to do is force as much wire up there as possible. 
you don't want too much gap between the end of the plug there and the start of the, of the braid. See how we've got it looking like that, guys? See that wire is all the way up there? It's, it's pushed up as hard as I can get it. Then we, what we're going to do is this contraption that we found, we want to screw that into here. Make sure you screw it in tight so it pinches this wire, so it holds the wire in there. Tighten them up. You might have to put a pair of pliers or something on the other end of it just to get a bit of leverage on it. Tighten it up really tight, guys. As tight as you can get it. So it squashes that wire down inside your plug. It's nice and tight there now, guys. See that? It's not going to come out anywhere. And then push the grommet as far up as you can, guys. Like that. So it fits in there again. And what I normally do is grab some tape and I'll put some tape around it. And I, what I also do, guys, is I wrap this in tape because this is quite wide here and I don't want this touching the body of my plasma cutter. So if I wrap it in tape, then it's not going to touch the body and, and the arc out and do something stupid. So I grab some insulation tape and I just do it like this to, to hold the whole lot together. So it doesn't pull out when we're trying to, um, when we're trying to use it. And like I said, I also go up here to stop it from shorting out on the side of my machine. Just like that. We end up with something that looks like this, guys. We've got our rod here with our nut on it like that. It's attached inside the plug to the lead. And then uh, that is the plug that goes into our machine. So now I'll go and hook up the Pilot Arc Plasma Torch to my non-Pilot Arc machine and we'll see if it actually works, eh guys? <laughs> Here's my modified ears, guys. So what we do is hook them into the machine like so, like that, and up there. See, I put the tape around here just in case it was on the other side here and it would earth out on the machine. I don't want it to do that. I don't know whether doing this is good for your machine or not. I've just done it like this for years. But like I said, I can't tell you whether it'll blow up the machine or what, but it doesn't on mine, that's all I can say. So, uh, yeah, have it up like so. That's the thing that we made. Here's the earth clamp. And then I'll plug the torch into it. So here's my pilot arc torch, guys. So we'll go and plug them in. So we'll put the air lead in here. We'll put the switch in here. Do them up. Then this little green wire we were talking about earlier on, we'll put them on here. Yeah guys, we've got our pilot arc wire on here, onto our earth lead. We've just got our normal switch wire here and our normal ear here. So here we have a pilot arc torch on my modified earth lead. See if it works guys. Yeehaw! Looks to work alright too. Like I say, I just do it this way. I don't know if it does any damage to your machine or not, but I've just done it like this so if I want to cut some painted surface stuff or something like that. But anyway guys, I've also got another video guys. If you haven't got a pilot arc torch, you've got a normal plasma torch. How do I make it go pilot arc? Uh, check out the top for that one and uh, I'll show you that one as well. Anyway, we'll go and cut some steel with us, eh? Like I say, guys, I just use this to start cutting painted metal, so you can get out the grinder and all sorts of things. Let's see if it works, eh? Perfect! Beautiful! Yeah, that works, so let's see if I can put a uh, guide wheel on it, see if it works with the distance from the tip to whatever I'm cutting. Do them up. What that does is just give you a guide so you can run your torch around, but it only works with uh, pilot arc torches. So anyway, let's have a crack at that, eh? <laughs> okay, guys, let's see if it works with the guide wheels on, eh? Looks like it to me. <laughs> So it works with the guide on it too, guys. 
Not a bad little modification, I don't think so anyway. Like I say, you figure out if you want to do it yourself, but this is just what I do. I've just shown you what I do over the years. So guys, that's the little modification that I do anyway, for what it's worth. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, you might have a better way of doing it. Also, if you want to try and convert your non-pilot um, arc plasma torch into a pilot arc one, just to cut through paint and that, I've got a video how to do that as well. So check the uh, links down below, guys, and we can sort that out for you. Anyway, same crap as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, oh, don't forget to go and see me at my uh, new website, peachtools.com. I'll drop some links down below for these plasma torches and other bits and pieces and those plugs if you guys are interested. Anyway guys, till next time, see you later. Peachtools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.